Hey, what's going on? Ryan here with Intersection Records and talking about the Grammys, the 2024 Grammy Awards were last night. And um, it was an interesting show. There were some great moments. There were some legendary performances. You know, really it was a, a, a night dominated by women in the industry. Back in 2018, you know, there was a mostly male nominees and winners. Uh, the Recording Academy chairperson said, hey, you know, women, you need to step up. And, you know, I guess that they did. Now, did they step up because they really had the best music of the year? Or is it a manufactured moment? Um, I would say probably a little bit of both because that's what this industry does. And I, and, and I didn't know how to handle this show. I was going to maybe talk about how it doesn't mean much. Um, but I'm going to kind of just hit it straight forward and not make too many assumptions of my own personal views. I don't think the Grammys mean much to a lot of people anymore, especially people in my age bracket, which is the 50, you know, 40, uh, 40s and 50s and 60s and up, um, just because there's not a lot of uh, rock and roll music, frankly, at all. And uh, when there is, it's, it's brushed aside. They'll bring in major acts from the past and and do good moments, uh, which they did last night, of course. You know, but let's talk about this. We'll talk about some winners. We'll talk about some things I like, some things I didn't like. Um, you know, really, again, women dominated. I think out of the 10 albums nominated for best album of the year, seven of them were female artists. Um, you know, Taylor Swift was a big winner last night, breaking a record. She has now won four best album of the year awards. So she won in 2010 for Fearless, 2016 for 1989, 2021 for Folklore, and now for Midnights, she has won again. She broke a record held by Frank Sinatra, Stevie Wonder, and Paul Simon. Legendary artists, legendary artists. Um, you know, Miley Cyrus performed Flowers for the first time live. She won Best pop solo performance i really really like that song you know i was thinking she started off as a manufactured artist you know within the industry this hannah montana character you know similar to like the monkeys in the 60s and the david cassidy so the 70s and some of these shows that become artists you know well she's risen to the top of her game and that song is a great pop song r&b song i really dig that uh, Victoria Monet won Best New Artist. Billie Eilish won Song of the Year for What Was I Made For? Her brother Phineas was a co-writer on that song. SZA won Best R&B Song. Lainey Wilson, Best Country Album. Carol B, Best Music Urban Album. Boy Genius, which is three women, kind of a super group, uh, won for some of the rock and, and alternative categories and Paramore took the rest of the rock uh, and alternative music cal uh, categories. I, I, I did uh, review the Paramore album last spring and I liked it a lot. I really did like it a lot. And, and, I, and is it the best rock album of the year? I don't, I don't know. It was up against Greta Van Fleet, which was an okay album. It was up against 72 Seasons, which was an okay album from Metallica. You know, I don't know what any of this means or if it means anything. Um, you know, Taylor Swift, upon accepting one award, did announce the arrival of her new album, The Tortured Poets Department, which is going to come out on April 19th. That, of course, made a big splash. Um, Michelle Obama won a spoken word, <laughs> spoken word uh, album, Grammy, you know, to go along with her husband's Nobel Peace prize that he won for being elected president. I'm not sure which award uh, has more meaning or, uh, but she did win, of course, Michelle Obama won a Grammy last night. Oprah Winfrey made a nice tribute to T Tina Turner, one of my favorite artists of all time. I thought Oprah was awesome last night. Uh, Celine Dion came out and presented the final Grammys. What a big night for women. Um, performances Dua Lipa opened up the show was Dua Lipa lip singing sinking I think she was I think there was a ton of lip syncing last night and then there were some other performances um, 
that, that probably weren't. I think, you know, there's lots of dancing, there's lots of hip hop, there's, it's more about the stage performance than it is about the singing. So why not, in some cases, do the lip sync thing? I don't think most people care, and I'm not sure I care. Everybody looked good last night. Performances by, again, uh, uh, Lipa, Olivia Rodriguez, uh, Billie Eilish again, uh, Miley Cyrus killing it, uh, SZA, legendary Joni Mitchell came out and did her wonderful song Both Sides Now off her 1969 album Clouds, accompanied by Brandi Carlile. Uh, Joni looking like a queen that she is, one of my favorite artists of all time. You know, um, she also won the best folk album. You know, she did a live album at Newport when she made her comeback and somehow that won Best Folk Album. I have a problem with that, it's a live album, uh, up against Paul Simon's masterpiece, Seven P Psalms, which is all original music. Uh, and for her to get the uh, uh, Best Folk Album from a live album that was frankly very much prop propped up by Brandi Carlisle and others, I have a problem with that. Tracy Chapman was fantastic last night and emotional with Luke Combs, who was equally emotional. He covered her song, Fast Car, from the 1988 debut album, which I owned on a cassette tape when I was in high school. It was one of my favorite artists of all time. Tracy Chapman is a genius. Her first three albums are untouchable. Check those out, especially the debut. I thought that was a great moment. Uh, Billy Joel turned in a uh, his first pop uh, song in 17 years, turned the lights back on last night, accompanied only by himself and the piano. He looked fit. He looked great. He looked like he's ready to go for another several years, and he sounded great. Uh, he sounded just like the record. And what's cool about that new single that just came out on Friday, he doesn't sound like there's a chink in that voice at all. In fact, it's a maturing voice that sounds very, very good. And he sounded great live last night, in my opinion. Uh, he also closed the night with You May Be Right, off his For the Turnstiles album from 82, I don't know. Uh, U2 offered us a glimpse inside the Sphere last night in Las Vegas, the new uh, venue there that is just really turning the industry on its ear where it's, it's all LED and um, different screens and you can bring images up and look like you're on the surface of the moon if you want to performing. Um, again, Miley Cyrus's version of Flowers uh, bloomed last night. I thought it was great. I thought she did a good job. Uh, Jay-Z got the Dr. Dre Global Impact Award. He pre was presented that award. He went up with his daughter, Blue Ivy. Of course, his wife is Beyonce. He kind of uh, blasted the, the Grammys for never awarding his wife the best album award because she needs more awards and he needs more recognition. He said, uh, sorry, I... When I get nervous, I tell the truth. Is that the truth? I don't know what the truth is. She's been awarded almost more than any female artist uh, on earth with Grammys for basically showing up. And now she needs more. She needs the best album to go on her shelf with all the other things that the industry has awarded her. Uh, in memory section, there's always a memory of people that died in 2023. Stevie Wonder did a tribute to Tony Bennett. That was good. I thought Steve, I thought Stevie sounded a little, old unfortunately i saw him back in september with eric clapton i thought stevie uh has sounded better and i love stevie wonder and i've done shows on stevie wonder i've done shows on Joni mitchell uh check out my channel we do shows every single day uh, i thought uh annie lennox was convincing in her version of nothing compares to you the prince written song that was given to sinead o'connor she passed away she offered and begged for a ceasefire at the end, which is one of the only political things that happened all night. Of course, um, Sinead O'Connor was an activist, and I think it was appropriate there. Fantasia Barino and Adam Blackstone did Proud Mary. You know, Tina Turner is one of the greatest performers of all time, along with James Brown and Little Richard and people like this, in my opinion. Uh, and Tina Turner was well represented last night. It was good to see Wayne Shorter represented, Gordon Lightfoot, Wayne Kramer, who just died from MC5, Jim Ladd, the famous DJ, Jeff. Uh, David Lindley, the famous multi-instrumentalist with Jackson Brown, Ahmad Jamal, who is the hero of Miles Davis's, Gary Wright, the Dreamweaver, Gary Rossington, and Kenny Rogers. Uh, Killer Mike won three Grammy Awards and then was involved in an altercation and was arrested last night after winning 
pre-show, pre-ceremony, three Grammys, then gets arrested. Pretty good night for Killer Mike, well representing that um, the rap, rap part of the rap category, rap album, uh, best rap song, best performances, and then again got arrested for an altercation. Trevor Noah, huh? I don't like Trevor Noah. I think he's completely and utterly fake. Um, you know, do a. Lippa opens up. He says she's one of the best performers of her generation. I guess she is. I don't know. Lip singing on that opening track, and from what I could see, is that one of the best performers of her generation? And less than 30 seconds later, he called Ed Sheeran one of the greatest songwriters and live performers of all time. Okay. Uh, in the end, uh, you know, it's good to know that men have very little place in rock and roll anymore, popular music. Uh, men were not really honored last night. Some people got their annual awards, like Metallica won some metal stuff. Chris Stapleton, of course, is going to win some things. And Jason Isbell, who is an industry darling, is going to win some awards, whether they need to win them or not. I was great to see Schottky win for Global Music Album. Uh, Schottky is a project. Uh, a 50-year-old band from John McLaughlin, legendary Mahavishnu orchestra leader, and Zakir Haseem, tabla player. Uh, it was great to see Shaki win for the Global Music Award. It was great to see Bobby Rush win traditional blues album. Contemporary instrumental album was won by Bela Fleck and again Zakir Haseem and Edgar Meyer. Here's some other things that happened. Uh, um, you know, again, Boy Genius Rock Performance, Boy Genius Rock Song, Paramore Best Alternative Music Performance, I don't know. Um, rec, um, yeah, Best Alternative Music Album, Boy Genius again. Best Jazz Performance, last year's Best New Artist, uh, Samara Joy won uh, in that quarter category for Best Jazz Performance, that's cool. Uh, Billy Childs won for Best uh, instrumental album jazz uh, large ensemble uh, Count Basie orchestra directed by Scotty Barnett Bar Barnhart uh, best Latin jazz Miguel Zanon and Louis Perdoma uh, that's nice to see Miguel getting his credit because he's fantastic Michelle uh, Deegan Sello uh, won for best alternative jazz album Again, contemporary instrumental jazz, or instrumental album, Bella Flex, Akira Haseem, Edgar Meyer, and Rakesh Karusha. Best country performance, of course, we're getting Chris Stapleton Awards every year, right? And he won for best country song, because we, we can't think outside the box. We gotta give it to the same guys every year. Jason Isbell, best American roots song, okay. Best traditional blues. Joni Mitchell got that award for the folk and uh, Best Roots Gospel Album, Echoes of the South by Blind Boys of Alabama, which is pretty cool. Anyway, uh, Julian Marley won for Best Reggae Album. Those are my thoughts. Check out my channel. We do shows every day. I think it was a decent night. I don't think it matters to most people. I don't think these uh, giving awards out for art matter anymore to anybody other than it's, uh, it's, it's a TV show. The commercials were long and excruciating. It was hard to get through those. Um, that all being said, it's a tough night of live music and it's hard to do that and put that show on. Check out my channel. Peace out. We do shows every day. See ya.